Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear students of the third year in El Iraqi University, uh, do you remember uh, the setting of the old man and the sea? We will continue your introductory lecture and we will discuss today the setting and the friendship between Malonin and Santiago. Here we will uh, know what is the setting of the novel? Do you remember when I said that the novel is divided into four parts? Here we have part one. And I told you every part discusses what? I told you that. Here now, in part one, we have the place setting. The place setting, the action in Hemingway's novel takes place on land and the set and the sea. And in the sea, pardon. Now, the first quarter. The first part of this novel takes place on land. In a small Cuban fishing village, you remember that, Havana, the village Havana, on Tuesday. What is the day? Tuesday. What time in Tuesday? Evening. So on Tuesday evening in a small Cuban fishing village. September 12th and Wednesday morning, September 13, 1950. So Tuesday, then Wednesday, the evening of Tuesday, then the morning of, of Wednesday. How do we know? From the boy. Read here, keep warm, old man. The boy said, the boy, who's the boy? Manolin, the apprentice. Remember, we are in September. He's talking to the, to the old man, to the fisherman, to Santiago. Keep warm, we are in September. So the writer made Santia, made Manolin tell the reader that the setting is September. The speaker here is Manolin. Addressing, talking to. He's talking to the old fisherman. So you say addressing, speaking to the old fisherman. Who's the old fisherman? Santiago, the old man. And in his, from his speech, you know, you know that he shows care for the old man. He cares for the old man. Keep warm. Don't be cold. Be careful. We are in September. Malolin is a boy in his adolescence. He is Santiago's apprentice. You know adolescence? Teenager. He is Santiago's apprentice. Apprentice like a student and devoted attendant. He likes to serve the old man. Uh, in many situations, in all the situations that they uh, they meet, they met. The old man first took him out on a boat when he was merely five years old. So uh, here, in this age, the boy started to be an apprentice for Santiago. He asks Santiago, the boy asks Santiago, how old was I when you first took me in a boat, took me in a boat to teach me fishing? Santiago answers, five, and you nearly were killed when I brought the fish into green and tore the boat to pieces. Can you remember? Can you remember this day? The, the boy said, I can remember the tail slapping and banging and the thwart breaking and the noise of the clubbing. I can remember you throwing me into the bow where the wet coiled lines were and feeling the whole boat shiver and the noise of you clubbing him like chopping a tree. Like chopping a tree down and the sweet blood smell all over me. This is the first day they started, uh, they go, went to the sea together when the, old, when the boy was five years old. You can find this quotation on page number eight. The narrator says, when the boy came back, the old man was asleep in the chair and the sun was down. هذا أيضا من النص لي يعني يثبت لكم أن اليوم كان 
الوقت وقت اليوم كان مساء sun was down means sunset evening so this is another uh, line from the narrator which says that it is evening لاحظ لاحظ طال عزيز الطالب أنا ما استعملت علامات اقتباس there are no quotation marks here and here because it is a long quotation long quotation بالاقتباسات الطويلة لا تستعمل علامات الاقتباس اللي تكون من أربعة أسطر فما فوق the boy the, the narrator continues the boy took the old army blanket off the bed and spread it over the back of the chair and over the old man's shoulders. They were strange shoulders, still powerful although very old, and the neck was still strong too, and the creases did not show so much when the old man was asleep and his head fallen forward. His shirt had been patched so many times that it was like the sail and the patches were faded to many different shades by the sun. The old man's head was very old though and with his eyes closed there was no life in his face. The newspaper lay across his knees and the weight of his arm held it there in the evening breeze. He was barefooted. This you can find this on page number 13. Here you have the sun was down, the setting, the time setting, evening. Uh, again, uh, an affirmation that it is evening. The time is evening. Of course, the the paragraph does not only tell us the time setting that it is in the evening, but also it shows us how the boy cares for the old man how the old man is so uh, is, is old very old but also he is still powerful now when he closes closed his eyes it seemed that his body has no life only when he opens his eyes it shows us that how poor he is because his shirt his shirt had been patched his what is patched البناطير اللي تشتروها المشققة بعض الشباب يعني اشتروها مشققة بأسعار غالية مرقعة هي في الحقيقة دليل على الفقر لهذا الشخص لهذا الرجل العجوز هي مسألة ذوق يعني so many times that it was like the sale like the sale his sale also is patched what is a sale you should know these uh, terms these vocabularies for the sea and the boat. So please check them to understand the whole paragraph. From that quotation that I read a minute ago, Manolin shows to be a symbol of fidelity. شوفوا الكلمة شون نستخدم كلمة symbol بالجملة. Manolin فاعل is فعل كينونة a symbol of of يجي وراها اسم fidelity of حرف جر يجي وراها fidelity اسم شوفوا طيب so he is a symbol of fidelity fiddle he is fiddle to the old man because the old man taught him and he has a great respect for the old man also he respects him because of his experience because he's old and because he taught him has a great respect for the old man who taught him fishing. What did he teach him? Fishing. Manolin serves to remind Santiago that despite his humbleness, humbleness is not Humbleness is not being humble, against being proud, against pride, humbleness against pride. No, humbleness against being rich. So poor, despite his poverty. So you can say despite his humbleness and poverty, he is a great fisherman. And that will never change. For Manolin, that will never change. If he is poor, it will not change that Santiago is a great man, a great fisherman. How do we know this? Again, from the text. Read this dialogue between Manolin 
and Santiago as a proof. There are many good fishermen and some great ones, but there is only you. The speaker is Manolin. فرقوا بين مانولين ومارلين السمكة مانولين ومارلين كتبوها وأقرأوا بالنص حتى تفرقون Thank you, you make me happy I hope no fish will come along so great that he will prove us wrong There is no such fish if you are still strong as you say Here مانولين said you, there are good fishermen but there is only you. You are the only great fisherman. He thanked him. Santiago thanked him. Then uh, he, sh he shows his fear that a great fish will come. A big great fish will come and will show that, will show that he is not a good fisherman because he will not be able to catch it. Manolin said or answered or commented, no, there is no such fish if you are still so strong as you say. No, you are still so strong. Now, let's see how does Santiago feel about himself after what Manolin has said. I may not be as strong as I think, the old man said. But I know many tricks and I have resolution. You ought to go to bed now so that you will be fresh in the morning. So in the morning, next day, I will take the things back to the terrace. This is on page number 17. طبعا اني ما ما طلبت منكم لحد الان قراءه هذه الصفحه لكن ممكن تقراوها بسهوله حتى موجود هذا النص. طيب. Resolution I have resolution. I have tricks and I have resolution. He has experience. Resolution means determination, purpose. I have a determination to catch the marlin. Now here, Manolin, according to this, to this conversation, exemplifies traits of fidelity, selflessness, and compassion. He accepts hard work happily, never complaining. He does not complain from hard work. On the contrary, he likes to go and fish with the old man. He gives the old man hope. You see here, there are good many good fishermen and some great ones, but there is only you. You are the great fisherman. He gives him hope. And he said, do you see the old man, the answer of the old man? Thank you. You make me happy. I hope no fish. Now he, he becomes energetic, more hopeful. I hope no fish will come along so great. That will prove us wrong. I wish to catch the fish. So he gives, Manolin gives the old man hope. Their friendship and Manolin's admiration of Santiago are founded on the skill and the training that Santiago gave Manolin. The fisherman is skillful and he taught Manolin that skill, skill of fishing. And also he trained him how to fish. The dialogue between uh, Santiago and the Ma Manolin refers to the time setting which starts on Tuesday night and continues to Wednesday morning. So we got that. Again, good night then. I will wake you in the morning. You are my alarm clock, the boy said. Who will wake Manolin? Santiago will wake Manolin in the morning. So again, another proof that the setting is at night. In the evening. You are my alarm clock, the boy said. You are like my al an alarm clock. You, yes, you wake. In, but why? Because the old man, because he's old, he wakes in the early morning. Age is my alarm clock. Santiago always remembers his old age. Age is my alarm clock, the old man said. Why do old men wake so early? Is it to have one longer day? You know that if you have a grandma, grandpa, they, uh, you can notice that they walk earlier than you. 
Why do old men wake so early? He, con he continuously remembers his old age. Manolin answered, I don't know, the boy said. All I know is that young boys keep asleep late and hard. Do you remember the theme of youth and youth and old age? Here, we have old age, in old age, life. This is life. Literature presents life. In life, we know that old men, old women wake early and young boys sleep late and hard. Late and hard, they keep, uh, keep asleep. How does the old man feel about Malalan? Now we knew how Malalan respects Santiago, how Malalan uh, admires him. But what about the old man? How does he feel about Malalan? Santiago thinks of Manolin often while at sea. When he goes to the sea, when he sets out to the sea, he thinks of Manolin, showing how much he relies on the boy to do things that he cannot. He relies on him, he depends on him, he needs him to help him. Although Santiago exhibits a great pride, he, because of his experience and because of his age and because of his skill as a fisherman, He's a skillful fisherman, kasifa, skillful, the full have full. Uskil wahadha is a noun. So although, although Santiago exhibits, sa'ba alaykum, istakhdimu shows, great pride, he knows his own weaknesses and values his friendship with Manolin enough to let him help. هنا أيضا جانب من جوانب الحياة يعرض لنا إياها هامينجواي الكبار يحتاجون الشباب يحتاجون الصغار لكن كرامتهم ما تسمح لهم أنهم يطلبون في عمرهم هذا لهذا فإذا عندكم أحد كبير دائما قدموا له المساعدة لأنه ما يسمح لنفسه كرامته ما تسمح له أنه هو يطلب المساعدة لكن هو يحتاجها وضعف عمر العمر الكبير يختلف عن قوة الشباب وصحتها طيب so he knows his own weaknesses he knows that he knows he's old he knows that he's weak and he values he appreciates his friendship with Manolin enough to let him help to let him help him okay now we have a line here from page 52 هذا يعني واضح بس يبين لنا هذه هذه الفكرة. If the boy were here, he could rub it for me and loosen it down from the forearm. He thought, but it will loosen, but it will loosen up. Now, if the boy were here, who's talk? Who's talking? The speaker is Santiago, of course. If he talks about the boy. If he wishes that the boy is with him to rub it for me and loosen it down from the forearm. What's happening? Santiago gets a cramp. What's a cramp? A cramp, a pain. He got a pain, a constriction in his hand while out at sea. While out at sea. He thinks of how Manolin would be able to help him if he were there. If he were there. Um, this, is, this line is taken from page 52 to show you uh, how Manolin, how Santiago needs Manolin and appreciates his friendship to him because he, not only because he suits him, they, um, he loves him, but also because he needs him. This is, because it is, lit, it is a novel, novella, pardon, written in prose, we should know about the point of view of the novel. Uh, or the novella, pardon. The novella's point of view in this section is that of an omniscient narrator. So, غيروها الكلمة novel إلى novella. You know the spelling. إدكم الإملاء. The novella's point of view in this section is that of an omniscient narrator. You took narrator. أخذت راوي. Omniscient narrator. What is an omniscient narrator? In the sense of knowing more than any one character and having access to the perspectives of multiple characters. This is called omniscient. 
So in the sense of knowing more than any one character, so he knows things more than characters know that, knows know these things. And also he have access, he can know the perspectives of multiple, multiple different characters, many characters. This is called an omniscient narrator. With the exception of minor shifting to Manalin's thoughts, shifting, change, when the writer presents for us Manolin and what does he think of, this is an exception. Here we don't have an omniscient narrator. This third person narrative, then who is third person narrative? Naam, who is third person narrative, but, but omniscient. Why? In the way he tells us about things. Because he generalizes, because he knows more than anyone in the in, in the story. That's why we say omniscient. Critics define him as omniscient. Knowing all, the knowing all, they say. This third person narrative is limited to and constraints on Santiago and his actions. With the exception of Manolin, this third person narrative is limited to and constraints on then high two tab are limited or on tab are constraints. Santiago, constraints on Santiago and his actions because the novel is about him and his, his fishing in the, in the sea. What readers know of Santiago's thoughts in this section of the novella comes from the narrator's statement of them. What the narrators tell us, we will we can know. If the narrator will not tell us, we will not be able to know. Okay. Now the emphasis on old the old man setting out to see. Most of this section's activities represent the characters' preparations. The characters' preparations for what? for Santiago setting out to sea on Wednesday. The novel is start, the novella started on Tuesday evening and he will set, Santiago will set out to sea on Wednesday morning for what will become the story's great struggle. The great struggle, the great conflict will start on Wednesday, which will prepare us, will, which will th then lead us to part two, three, and four. Write this in your copy books, uh, read it carefully and prepare it for the next week.